Good morning, everyone. I'm Betsy Ko, um, and this is a twice a month session that we have uh, via Zoom, uh, which is a Q and A session for new members and not so new members, just anyone who, who likes this mode of learning. Um, and I think that there are many ways you can get your questions answered about WikiTree, um, but sometimes just like the the direct. Um, um, feedback of a conversation and being able to screen share is very helpful for some people. Um, you may, so uh, welcome, a big welcome to everybody who's, you can see on the screen with me today. And you may also be watching us on YouTube later um, because these get recorded and uploaded. So um, if you're watching on YouTube and you um, think, wow, I, I wanna come to the next one, just make sure you're following the new members tag. Um, and then it'll shop, show up in your, your uh, G2G feed. Um, so I've been on Wikitree about four and a half years, roughly. And um, it was, I, I still remember the learning curve um, was, was quite steep. Um, I did not have um, a background in Wikicode, um, which Steve uh, who you'll hear from in a second. Steve has an extensive background, so I think you know it might be easier for someone with that background. Um, but I just you know did did a lot of trial and error and asking questions and made myself a cheat sheet and eventually um, you know got got functioning. But uh, you know I'm still learning. I mean the wiki tree is vast and there's there's a lot uh, you can always be learning new tricks and and things. Um, my my time on Wikitree is um, on a couple of projects. I'm a member of the the England, Scotland, Wales, and Canada project, and I just volunteered to lead up the new Taiwan project. Um, and then, um, in terms of functional projects, I'm a, a mentor, um, which means that I um, work with um, anyone who needs help um, one on one for a short period of time to to get them get them up and running on Wikitree. Um, and, and I'm also a member of the, uh, or a co-leader of the events committee. So when there's things like um, the Connectathon that we had recently, or um, the Rock Challenge, or any of those things you read about under events in G2G, um, I'm, I'm involved in that, and so is Steve. So um, with me this morning, I have uh, Steve Greenwood and Murray Maloney and Hillary Gadsby. Um, so we're all here to help you. Um, could could you each introduce yourself? Steve, you want to go first? Yep. So again, for those who don't know me, I'm Steve Greenwood or Stephen. Uh, I was a Wiki founder back in 2005. So yes, I have extensive experience with Wiki markup, which is the, the brackets or any of the links or anything like that you find in the Wiki uh, that is secondary to HTML that we use for citations or inline citations. Uh, so, I, yeah, I've been involved in the wiki sphere for quite a bit, uh, but I didn't discover WikiTree until 2020, hmm, pandemic time, perfect timing, right? Uh, so I've been doing this for three and a half years now. I'm also on the events committee along with Betsy and various others. Uh, I am heavily involved in Germany Project. Again, I was part of Team Germany Genies during Connectathon, although I didn't make as nearly as many edits as um, or contributions as my other uh, people in the group, but I was able to help out on the, the live calls, you know, those four hour ring ins that we have for updates. Uh, and also, you know, involved with Notables Project, uh, Cemeterist, I have a cemetery I'm working on, uh, one place studies, one name studies, so just a variety of different projects, uh, mostly focused on uh, German ancestors coming to Wisconsin, which is a large part of uh, my pedigree. So I, that it tends to be what I default to, but then I will work on other areas of interest if I, you know, so find them um, interesting enough. That's kind of me in a nutshell. Great, thanks. Um, Hillary, you wanna? Yeah, I've been on Wikitree since um, 2011, so quite a long time. Um, I am a project coordinator for the England project and for the Wales project. I'm a uh, for the England project, I'm one of the co-PCs um, for the Orphan Trail now, and in the Wales project, I'm the counties one. And um, the team that I'm usually co-captaining, which is the Welsh Dragons, um, didn't um, we didn't uh, put up a team for the the latest Connectathon, even though I was on um, three of the live casts. 
Um, we decided that we wanted to do something for the project, so we worked on some of the uh, Welsh Jedcons doing some cleanups, and we did quite a few um, of them. Some of them are still unsourced, but at least then we've removed a lot of the Jedcom rubbish that was on some of the profiles. So, um, and I'm also like uh, Steve. I've got one name studies, one place studies. So, um, I'm. Uh, gradually working my way through things. Yes, and um, uh, last, if if you came a couple, I see familiar faces from the, the uh, session we did earlier in January, we spent quite a bit of time talking about what, what are these thons? What's connect-a-thon? And well, there are three, three connect-a-thons a year and one source-a-thon a year. And um, since then, I was thinking the wheels were turning and I thought, did, by the way, did anyone um, be outside of the four of us, did you, did anyone participate in Connect-a-thon? Okay. All right. <laughs> well, you would have had to sign up and um, it was last weekend and you would have been on a team and the, you, there's a 72 hour window where, you know, everybody just connects and connects and connects. And over the course, there were about 700 people who signed up and over the course of the weekend, they connected 98,000 new profiles. Wow. So that's, you know, any starting from any existing profile in WikiTree and just, you know, adding a, adding a sibling, adding a parent. And that, that counts as one point. And, you know, it's, we have a lot of fun with it. Um, but, um, you know, in the end, what we end up with is, is a, a more vibrant, leafier tree, um, which helps everybody. Um, so my idea, and I'm saying you're hearing it first, and then once this goes on out on YouTube, everybody, more people will hear it. I think I would like to start a fond team for new members where, um, you would all get a lot of support and, um, you know, and to help you, you know, I think a lot of people are intimidated by thons and it's really not intimidating, but, you know, maybe have some meetings, team meetings by Zoom prior to the event and just talk about strategies and what to do. And, um, you know, I think it could be fun. So I'm just throwing that out there, that seed. Um, yeah. We'd be like our class three moving up to class two or something like that. You know, <laughs> think about it in terms of sports. We, we, we'll be the farm for the bigger teams. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm thinking, you know, anyone who's joined WikiTree within the last year or or has under a certain number of contributions or, you know, first thon, you know, those will all be great. Go teams. Greenhorns. <laughs> yeah, we need a name. We do need a good name. So... Um, Murray, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, folks. Uh, my name is Murray Maloney. I'm a retired author editor. Uh, I joined WikiTree in December of 2019, just before we found out about the pandemic. And so then I just sat in my chair and added profiles to WikiTree. Um, I am a member of um, the Acadia Project, the Quebec Project, the apps project and the uh, Puritan Great Migration project. It turns out I have a lot of Puritan Great Migration uh, ancestors. Um, and I uh, spend a lot of time working on, with my uh, haplogroup C1C cousins. Um, those are uh, native Canadian, um, I guess First Nations is the term that's properly used, um, and um, First Nations and Native American people. Um, and uh, otherwise, I just kind of poke around on WikiTree and add profiles and try and make my CC7 bigger. And I try to attend all of these sessions with Betsy because they're they're just so much fun. <laughs> Thank you. And, and, oh, we might want to define what CC7 is for those who aren't familiar with that term. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm going to talk about. So here's our plan for today. Um, I thought that we would, um, well, actually, um, Paul brought up a really good question about um, what he saw on his navigation page. So I thought we'd take a look at that. And then um, 
on the on the Saturday roundup, we were talking so much about connection combat and you know degrees of connection. I thought it would be very helpful to show everybody how do you find your the connection um, to yourself and a, and somebody else, um, and then you know what is your CC seven, um, and then after that, um, Barbara has um, some very interesting questions. So. Um, that that's my game plan. And of course, whatever other questions come up along the way. So, yeah. And um, I will say um, Murray has done a, astounding work on the WikiTree browser extension and particularly um, creating free space pages that explain all the capabilities of it. He's, he's the, our expert. We're so, I'm so grateful to have you on the call, Murray. And um, so Steve and Hillary and I, we've all disabled our browser extension for today so that our screens will look maybe what like a, a brand new WikiTree member's screen will look like, but then your, you still have it enabled. So you'll, you'll be able to show what the, what the difference looks like. Okay. All right. So, um, Paul, you you want to um, show us? You, we can go through your question again. Yeah, I am learning WikiTree, and I end up logging into my homepage. And my name is Paul Baltzer. So when I started looking down here, I see all these Newt Baltzer, Newt Baltzer, Newt Baltzer, Newt Baltzer. I'm like, I don't understand who this Newt Baltzer is. So. <laughs> I, that was my question. It's like, well, who's Newt Baltzer 52? Because I'm, my ID is Baltzer 52. So that was my question this morning. Right. And Newt is what we, um, is just our affectionate acronym for new to WikiTree. Um, and so, uh, and of course, um, Baltzer is, is 52, is you, Paul. And th this is just a little uh, friendly nudge to encourage you to introduce yourself on G2G. So if you were to click on any of these, for instance, it would take you to a template with that heading line, and then you can just type in a message, um, you know, with whatever you want to say. Um, yeah, and the uh, G2G works just like any other email program. Um, so you can add links, as you can see, you can bold, italicize, et cetera. Um, the one thing that is, is a little bit fussy in G2G is adding photos. And that's maybe a subject for another time. But um, yeah, so that's what those hyperlinks are. And um, since you, um, oh yes, and it will always, the question, they will always prompt you, um, are, you know, so that we don't flood people's um, mailboxes, you know, has this possibly been asked before, but in the case of a self-introduction, that's not a concern. So, um, yeah, Paul, since you have it up, would you show everybody where you find the na navigation homepage? So, Usually I'll just either click oh. on that right there or I'll come up here. Yep. And see, it's nice and, and scroll bold. all the way down. Mm -hmm. Thank God it's bolded. Here's right. a question. Right. Why, since it's like the most important page, yeah. why wouldn't it be the very top link up here? I know it's uh, a why question. Yes. Well, I see that they're alphabetical. Uh, okay. That makes sense. However, maybe Murray would like to show us the, the customized my wiki, uh, the, what comes with the browser extension? Murray, you know what I'm talking about, the customized menu? Yep. Yep. Um, thank you, Paul. Thank you. So this, this is possible if you have the WikiTree browser extension, which is a free add-on mm -hmm. that works on Chrome, Firefox, Safari, um, and it, it just, takes your wiki tree work and experience up to a new level. How? Um, sorry, I'm just having trouble finding my share thing here. Um, why is it not offering me? Yes, and uh, Jen, I see Jen's putting some questions. Please um, put chat uh, questions in the chat and we will um, we'll make sure and we address that we address them all. If 
that works. Okay, so you're seeing my screen? Mm hmm Yep. All right, and now if I can just go, go back to my group. Now, so this is, so there's my main page. And so, um, so Paul, when I sign in, this is the page that I go directly to. And so, so you can set your, your homepage however you want. Um, you, can, you can set it to be the nav homepage, but you can also set it to other places. Now, um, so when you have the Wikitree browser extension and you're um, added, added to your space, you get some free features. And one of them is called My Menu. And in My Menu, you can add um, anything that you want. Uh, you can add links to, to other places. And so, for example, I have a, a link here to the Wikitree Sourcer page. So I can just go and click on that and, and boom, I'm there. Um, and I can customize that. Just a second. Let's go back. So with my menu, if I just click on my menu, it's going to bring up this this page here that allows me to copy things from the other menus into my own menu. And so you'll see that, for example, family activity feed I have at the top of my, my menu. And that's something that I borrowed from, uh, where did I get that from? Um, under, um, feed. Yeah, yeah, it comes under my wiki tree. Yeah. So I've just taken that menu item from under my wiki tree there and I've added it over here. And so now when I, when I come in, uh, when I come to my page, you know, the first thing I do is I look and see if my numbers have changed, my contributions, my thank yous, and my connections. And then I go over here and I check my family activity feed and I check my G2D G feed. And I check to see whether I've got pending merges, requests, and suggestions. And that, that gets me started in my morning, make sure that I've done all the things that I need to do. Um, now, as you can see, my screen looks a little bit different than other people's screens. So, for example, these are all ovals, not squares. And that's something that I've set up. And you can see that I've got some color here. And, um, and there's some other changes. There, there's some other differences to how my page looks because I've got the Wikitree browser extension installed. Is, is the name of the extension called Wikitree Sourcer? Or is that a different extension? No, different. So that, um, yeah, let's put... The, the, Yep. So yep. the Wikitree Sourcer is one extension, and the Wikitree Browser extension is a different extension. And let me just get there. I'll, I'll put and the links in the chat. Sorry, I didn't hear you, Betsy. Uh, I'll put the links in the chat. Going down on me. Uh, something's happened here, and there we go. Copy URL. No, something's happening here, and I can't get. Okay, I think I'm gonna go. have to stop sharing. Okay, so the the browser extension is um, there is a, a page that will describe um, how to get it and what it does. I've got no audio. Uh oh. I've lost oh, my audio. You. You're gonna have yeah. to. I can hear you though. Um, in no, right to, to Judy's question, what does it do? Well, when you look at this page, it's, it's more a question of what doesn't it do? Um, it's a, it's a very comprehensive, long list of features, um, that change both appearance if you want, or, um, or function, how, how you do things, how you, how you source things. Um, so. Um, and then Sourcer, which we're also mentioning, is another browser extension, um, which I recommend that you get right away because um, that's very, it really speeds up your your work and helps you to, to do, do it better. Um, yes, Paul. Can I share my screen again? Uh, sure, go ahead. So I went to the link that you had put in the chat Yes. It takes me to the browser extension page. Right, right. And is from here, where is the link to download the extension? 
Um, let's see, it should be installation. I see in the top oval. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. I would go there. Okay. And I would follow those instructions. Let's um, do that. I think you're going to have to go to like your app store and, and, uh, get it from there. So Paul, right. uh, yeah, Paul, the, the, the links there for Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. Yeah. I'm on Chrome. Should I click the Chrome link? Yep, you can follow that Chrome link. Okay, I'm there. Oh, okay, add to Chrome. Yep. Okay, and then add extension. Yep. And if you... Ah. Yeah. <laughs> See you what I all think. the toggle switches you have access to now. Yeah. So what are all of these? I don't want to get too deep into this, I guess, but I mean, what are ones, what should I... Like, what was the one that you were talking about, um, Murray? Uh, oh, sorry. Um, so the oh, it's adding to your menu. list, navigation. So, so go ahead. So the um, the app, the menu, uh, my menu is where is that? Uh, under navigation. Second. Yeah, under navigation. Thank you. Just scroll down to navigation. Yep. Yes, there it is. There, there, there you go. Menu. Yep. And then it's right there. My menu. My menu. Click that on. Okay, so now I've added my personal my menu to the thing. Yep. That sounds good. Is there anything else on here that I should click or de-click, deselect? There are lots of things, Paul. And and what I'm going to recommend that you do is is go back to that um, uh, WBE page and you scroll down that a little one. bit and you'll find that there's a series of videos. Just keep going. Uh, so back up, back up, back up. Right near installation. Keep going up. Okay, so uh, starting out with Wikitree browser extension. Uh -huh. Right under for Safari, yeah. Uh, for Safari, starting with right there, yeah. yes. Yeah, so if you go to that video, mm -hmm. uh, that's going to that's gonna get you started. And, and there's actually two videos that Greg Clark and I did, and um, it, it walks you through various aspects of the Wikitree browser extension, how to set it up, and what, what, uh, what it gives you. And oh, you, can you can probably spend... Um, An hour. As, li as little as 10 minutes and as much as several days trying <laughs> to figure out which features you want to use and how you want to use them. Perfect. This, I appreciate you walking me through it. And this, this page um, gives you details on each of the features and, and what they offer and how to use them. And then, whoops, stop, stop, go back, back a little bit more. Okay, so see there? on There's, there's a whole list of videos that people oh, have done to explain the various features. I see. And the most recent ones are the ones that Greg and I did, um, which, which goes through most of the features. This was, I appreciate right. you walking me through this. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And Jen, probably to answer your question, that would be where you want to start is uh, have a look at those videos. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah all right. Well, um, let's talk about connections a little bit, um, just in case um, people are uh, not not up and running with that. Um, so I'll go here, and I was on the sourcer page, but um, let me now go. Okay. So here is a profile um, that I, I mentioned that Barbara had um, a question and. Um, it has to do with this profile here, so that's why I had it up. Um, so you can see that um, when I'm logged in as me and I'm on somebody else's page, I have this heading up at the top that is um, labeled with the profile ID of whatever profile I'm on. In this case, Bartlett 16079. So if I do the pull down for that, and I do connection to me. Um, then I get, I see that Mary Paris is 17 degrees from me, and it will give me the pathway. Um, and the change in color indicates that there has been a marriage. Um, so right now, for example, uh, what, well, we are, we're always talking about connection on Wikitree, but right now there's a, a challenge going on throughout the year um, called connection combat. 
and it, it gives you two profiles and it says, well, which one are you closer to? And this year, it was this week, it was Billy the Kid and Pat Garrett, who was the constable who, who um, caught Billy the Kid. And um, so you find out who you're closest to, and then you go through the entire pathway between you and whomever, and you you make sure that the profile is in shape, good shape with sources, no GEDCOM junk, um, and that there's a verifiable source that is proving the link to the surrounding profiles. Um, now, if you're interested in um, seeing, say, say that I don't really want to know how I'm connected to Mary Pierce, Pears, but maybe to somebody else, I can just go down here, take myself out, and Steve is going to tell me his ID. I knew you were going to pick on me again. <laughs> there it is. It's auto. Okay. So let's see. Put it is in it quite a bit. <laughs> uh -huh. Find connection. Okay. So Steve is 21 degrees. And there is his pathway. The brownfields, of course. <laughs> so, so I need to really work on those profiles since they connect to a lot of people on that side. Yeah. Yeah. So on your profile, um, let me, let me, if you go to the very, oh, wait a minute, where is it going to be without the browser extension? That's a good question. Um, the it's connect, at the top. It's up at the top. Oh, okay. Yeah. You have to rewire your brain again. <laughs> I know. No, I'm looking for the week, the, the connections of the week. Well, they're at the very bottom. They're at the very bottom still. Yeah. Oh. All right. And I'm I'm deliberately not showing my screen yet because I'm scrolling like crazy. So um let me get there. You just you they were there. at the bottom. It's it's below your comments, Betsy. Below my comments? Yeah. Okay. All right. There oh, right, right. I'm so used to seeing them in a nice little list. In fact, Murray, if you'd pull up an example so that we can show why you want to get the WikiTree browser extension. <laughs> yeah, I actually prefer not having that that vertical list that you're talking about oh, yeah. because okay. it doesn't include the link to you, like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. or at least the, the one that only focuses on the notables, but it doesn't actually have like a, a link there. So then you oh, do okay. have to go to the top to click the connection yeah. to me. Yeah, um, but you know everybody has their own preferences. Sure, and you know? that's why you have on all the toggle switches on or off. Yeah. Um, sorry, I just order. realized I'm not on Streamyard. I'm on Zoom, and so you probably saw me doing all that crazy <laughs> stuff. Sorry, so, if anyone yeah. has motion issues. Um, anyway, at the bottom of your profile, you will see, you know, who you your name is, X degrees from these folks, some names you will recognize, some names you won't, because there's a theme every week. Um, this week's theme was New Mexico Notables. So um, it will show you now if I click on William McCart McCarty, there, it shows me my pathway. Um, now you see all my numbers that for me and Steve are pretty high. Um, and But if you are within seven degrees, that's what counts in your CC7. Congratulations that's on 700. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to get that thousand badge. Maybe, maybe soon. Um, so you see this up at the top, Murray mentioned contributions, third, thank yous, and connections. So it, this tells oh, me that I have 700 connections on Wikitree within seven degrees. And if you, if you click on that for yourself, you'll see, of course, I myself am degree zero. My parents are degree one and, and so on. And of course, it gets a lot to be a lot much longer list the farther out you go. So that is what CC7 is. And there's another page where you can show the change in your CC7 over oh, time. Yeah. Yep. Um, let's see. Well, I have, I have, do you want to take over Murray and show that? Click on the CC7 uh, up in the corner Thank there, you. CC7 700. I know, but the changes? That's it. That's the history. Okay. And your distance from Kevin Bacon and Queen Elizabeth II. Yes, yes. No, I was talking about the, C the CC7 changes. That's something oh. 
the browser. Right, that's part of the browser extension. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's maybe save that for another day. But I, um, okay. Or yeah, you want to show it? No, yeah. no, it's okay. Carry, carry on. Okay. Um, yeah, I I just want to make sure that we get to Barbara's questions. Um, so, um, Barbara had asked. Barbara, you said you had two questions, right? Yes, my my question had to do primarily with the uh, connection shown for Mary Bartlett Pierce. Mm -hmm. um, shows that she was a descendant of James Bartlett and Nancy Shannon, who were my ancestors. But even though James Bartlett and Nancy Shannon had a daughter named Mary Ellen, this Mary Pierce is not the Mary Ellen who I know to be descended from James Bartlett and Nancy Shannon. Right, and I did I did pull up already um, the yes. two Linda Grave pages. So, and it seems like um, Barbara and I have been going back and forth over the last few days with a lot of these details is that there's been conflation, confusion between these two women over many platforms. So it's on Find a Grave, it's on Ancestry Trees. And um, so here's one, and here's the one that, that uh, Barbara believes is her her um, ancestor, or well, yeah, da daughter of your your ancestors. Um, and Barbara, I think you're you're very. Barbara sent me this this um, really comprehensive one page. I printed it out. I was so impressed by it of comparing for each person um, uh, all the records you know, to try and um, um, untangle them. And you want to talk about the uh, her son from the first marriage and why you think that that proves that she's a different person? Uh, well, even though I did not find a census showing Mary Bartlett Pears with her parents, mm -hmm. Uh, I know that uh, Mary E. Broom is the daughter of James Bartlett and Nancy Shannon. And she was born um, in um, Branch County, Michigan, and moved with her her family um, uh, from uh, Michigan to Kansas. And that's where she married her first husband. Um, her first husband was Frank Rathburn. And subsequently then the census records show that she, her, her son, uh, from the first marriage with, with Frank Rathburn is still with her. And I, I have the marriage record uh, between her and, and Frank Wat, uh, Rathburn in Allen County, Kansas. And so we can follow the Mary E. Broom shown here from the first census on which she appears, which is 1860 in Branch County, Michigan. I see now I have a, a, pi a typo in Branch County, but uh, um, she appears with James and Nancy in 1860 in Branch County, Michigan. Um, the next time she appears on the census, she's still with Nancy and her stepfather, James Adams. Um, Nancy uh, um, Shannon married James Adams after the death of James Bartlett. Um, so in 1870, she's still with Nancy and James Adams. 
and uh, still with them in 1880 and married Frank Rathburn in 1882 in Allen County, Kansas. And uh, Mary Pierce, Mary Bartlett Pierce, the first time I, I found her on the census was in 1880, but she married Robert Pierce in um, Iowa in 1877. And in 1880, we can see that Mary Broom, Broom was her last husband, mm -hmm. was in Allen County, Kansas with James and Nancy Adams, but Mary Pierce, or Mary Bartlett Pierce, is with her husband Robert in Iowa. Uh, so I'm convinced that um, it was a mistake to show Mary Bartlett Pierce as a descendant of James Bartlett and Nancy Shannon. Yeah, and I I think you've done some really outstanding genealogy research here, Barbara. Um, and I I'm convinced. Um, I think the I think it is um convincing enough that you could go ahead and make that change with disconnecting. And what I would do, it's very this is very important, is I would add a research note. Um, and that's something we can talk about. Um, let me see if I can find something quickly where I have a research note. Um, like, do I have one here? Yes. yes. Okay, great. So um, this is a profile that I did for uh, the England Project uh, Orphan Trail, uh, a baronet. And there were some, you know, after I stated everything that we feel certain about, um, there were some questions um, where um, I really couldn't completely reconcile it. And so you have this separate section between biography and sources called research notes. And I'll go into edit mode and show you what that looks like. But this is the place where um, if we could find some way to, to sh I, I love the table presentation, Barbara, and I almost think maybe a free space page, but I'm not sure. Um, but where you would make your argument about why you would say, um, I disconnected um, um, Mary Ellen Bartlett pairs from these parents um, because, and then lay out your argument. And then what you can do is you can put a signature to your comment. So if you put four tildes, I just put it in the chat. Four tildes when you're in edit mode, that's going to create um, your, you know, a signature with your ID and your date. And I would put that on both profiles. I would put it on Mary Mary Pears and Mary Brooms to to you know explain the confusion. So let's go into edit mode um, for Peter, and you can see right here's your biography. So you have two equal signs, biography, two equal signs. So when we come down to uh, research notes, it's again, two equal signs, research notes, two equal signs. And since I have, since I have already done, done this uh, a little while ago, um, you no longer see the four tildes, but you see what it creates. It's going to create a hyperlink to my profile and the time and the date when I made that comment. So, um, yeah, I, I think you've done great work. Does, does that sound, does research notes sound like a good approach to you? Um, Barbara, I can't hear you. I cannot hear Barbara. Yeah, me neither.
Hey, I didn't understand the question. Oh, I I was I was just asking you if that makes uh, sense to you. If, if research if doing a research note on both profiles sounds like a good way to go. Uh, okay, Paul, that's a great question. So um, yes, when you do three equal signs, it's going to create a subheading. Um, so you can see that on Peter's profile um, and it's it's indented. So the biography has two equal signs, but birth and parentage has three. And so it offsets it a little bit. Yeah. So um, Barbara, have you create? Is there an existing profile right now for Mary Ellen Broom? No, no, uh, no, uh, no. Because um, I I wasn't sure how to handle that. Right. I I wanted to uh, disconnect mm -hmm. Mary Pierce from James and Nancy Bartlett. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, uh, but. I didn't know how to do that, and I my thought was that I needed to disconnect her before I created a profile for Mary Broom. Yeah, I I, I would agree with that. Um, now it may be that Mary Mary Pears Mary Bartlett Pears will now be a floating disconnected leaf, and that you know that happens. Um, and um, hopefully somebody will be able to connect it. <laughs> That's why I encouraged you on Find a Grave. I noticed that the um, person who put up the profile, the photo, um, had a lot of memorials with the pair's surname. And so maybe, um, you know, I'm sure you don't want to invest a lot of time since it's not your line, but maybe maybe that person could um, could give you some clues. Um, and, and I and I just saw um, your email about how to deal with find a grave because in our earlier emails back and forth on this topic, my concern was that needs to be changed because the find a grave shows mm -hmm. her connection to James right. and Nancy. And there are no sources on the find a grave. That's the thing. I feel like you're in luck, uh, Barbara, because as I mentioned to you, the memorial is managed by the Decatur County Society, Historical Society. So I think that they're more likely to be maybe a little more responsive to uh, to your, especially to your very well laid out argument. Um, and there's uh, some more questions in the chat too regarding how do you actually disconnect a profile? For example. Yes. Yes. Um, Barbara, do you feel uh, confident? Can we disconnect? I mean, is it okay with you if we disconnect? Uh, uh, yes. Yes. I, okay. Because I'm I'm convinced that Mary Pierce is not related to to my ancestors as shown. So here we are. We're on um, Mary Mary Bartlett Pierce profile. We go to edit. We don't have to wait for permission because nobody is profile. Well, managed. yeah, it's, it's an orphan profile. So yeah. um, I, I did reach out to the person who originally created the profile uh, just to give a heads up that um, we, we thought there was there were some issues with the connections. Um, hey, Betsy, can you show what? us that this is a, a, a orphan profile? Oh, sure. Yeah. So let me um, let me return without saving. So here, instead of having a profile manager's name, it just says no profile manager. And you have the option, like supposing you stumble across your third great grandfather, uh, go ahead, adopt it. Um, so under edits, um, so we have, uh, we have this and all you have to do is replace replace or remove the father. Same thing with the mother. So, okay, here we go. We're going to 
remove without a replacement, unfortunately. We don't know. But if we did, we could click on those other buttons and make yes. the process a little bit quicker. Um, and then let's see, let me edit again. So now you can see daughter of father unknown and Nancy. So now I'm going to edit once again and remove Nancy and remove. Now, do we want to put a research note in this right now to let people know that that's why we disconnected it, even yeah. though it's linking to this find a grave, which is technically not a source for that information? Right, right. So I think Barbara has everything that she needs to write up a research note to explain that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Barbara, you will go in afterwards that's now. That's your homework, Barbara. <laughs> you've, been, you've, you've basically done all the work already. So it's just a matter of, um, as I said here, I'll even... Um, I'll even create the research notes for you. So we just go here. Yeah, and the space is not required. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, and then there is a category for research notes. Really? What? Well, yep. Yeah, for in terms of what you. I feel oh, like, oh, you mean a a button for research notes? Yeah, I feel like I'm cheating because I'm only putting the heading in, but. Okay. okay, I thought you said that there was a category which would categorize mm -hmm. the profile into things with research notes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how helpful that would be, but uh, sounds like a fascinating. Yeah. Thing. And then we did have another question, right? Um, what was it? Uh, um, well, David said, what if there was a profile manager? So well, you'd that, have to wait for that, them to approve it. That's right? a great question. Yes. Um, you would reach out and um, you know introduce yourself and and your relation to the to the pro person in the profile and and say can we how can we collaborate here's what I know here's what I think based on that knowledge let's let's uh, go let's hash it out um, and you know every once in a while usually because because it's WikiTree you're gonna get a response sometimes you don't get a response. But um, we re we really pride ourselves on being collaborative and responsive and courteous to one another. It's all part of the honor code. So you should you should get a positive response. Yeah, Steve. And this this is in relationship to two questions now. Both Della and mm -hmm. at the bottom, uh, David are asking if the profile manager doesn't respond, that we have a process for that. Correct. Well, it depends on what you're going to do. Um, and I think if the person doesn't respond, um, I mean, you have done done your part by reaching out and explaining what you want to do. Um, and then the next thing that you would should do is leave a research note um, so that anyone can see why the change was made. And um, um, sometimes some something I do sometimes when I see there's a profile manager is I check the connection from the from the person of the profile, the subject of the profile to the profile manager, it's just to see like, well, is this a third great grandparent or is this a twenty degree connection that right. they inserted by a GEDCOM six years ago and haven't touched since. Yeah, there's a little shortcut button for that. That's right next to the profile manager's name. It should be an orange button. That will go directly to the connection finder between the profile manager and the profile you're looking at. So hey, you can see. If, I didn't know that. Can you show yeah, that? Yeah. Steve? Take over. Uh, sure. Uh, I'll share my screen. Okay. But Go again, ahead. I did not disable the browser extension because I don't know how to. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to go share screen i think i have let me, let me go to the profile first so i'm just gonna open up my tree i'm gonna go to my second great grandfather it's just being slow because i have such a large profile uh yeah that's great good old fred good old fred okay so let's now that that's up on my screen i'm going to share and let's go to WikiTree. And can everybody see my screen? Yep. All right. Okay. This is my second great grandfather, Heinrich Friedrich Ripke, also known as Fred. And if you go and you look here at Profile Manager, 
uh, you'll see that there is my name. Mm -hmm. And then directly next to it is a, actually, I'm sorry, the green button. The orange button is the it's send private message. message. But yep. the green button is calculate relationship. Now, if I, if I click that, it'll show the relationship through my private parents. So, you know, I won't actually click on it, yeah. but that's where you would find the connection. If you're on anybody else's profile, that should still appear. And then you can instantaneously see their connection between the profile you're looking at and them. I just learned something new. Thanks, Steve. There we go. We're always learning something new. Yeah, that saves, saves me some work. Yeah. yeah. But I, I love this page just because I have so many documents for them. Um, I need to, you know, have a better photo for that, but well, we, we did get, get a better photo. This is the one down below. That's a better image of him. Uh, and then the family with my second great grandmother and all of their children. Like this oh, is just, that, that's a lovely one. I know this is such a find when I came across this, I thought like, this is magical. I get to finally see like everybody, you know, in, in a professional setting here. You know, mm -hmm. Anna is my second great grandmother and she's just got a smile on her face. So that's yeah. her profile photo uh, on her yes. profile. Just this one right here cut out. Um, yes. But yeah, I have a lot of naturalization documents, immigration stuff from Germany. Uh, th this one, I'm, I'm really proud of this profile because of how much information I have with that. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and stop sharing. Wow, very nice. Yep. Thanks for showing that. No, no problem. Mm -hmm. So, so Linda, in answer to your question, are, is a profile manager the only one who can disconnect? No. Um, so in the case of, let me go back to Mary Ellen. So it, it depends on the privacy setting. Um, so this means that it's an open, open profile uh, because it's a profile of a certain age. If the person died more than 100 years ago or was born more than 150 years ago, they are required to be op an open profile, which means that anyone can change them. Um, with the exception of really high level notables like Henry VIII, well, his profile, you can't just go in and, and change Henry VIII profile. Um, it's it's protected by the Notables Project and the England Project. Um, so that would be an exception. But any, anything else, you can make a change. But um, I, I just I really encourage you to follow Barbara's example of, of spending the time and making sure it's really great before you make the change. Um, even if you, even if you're sure because of what your grandma said, like find the records and, and back it up. Um, because at the end of the day, um, you know, the records are what we have to rely on. Um, and you can also add your grandma as a source. That's okay. Um, but yeah, we want both. And really quick, just interesting question from Dallas. So she found an exception to what we just did. Yes. And so she did not find an envelope next to a person's name that of a different profile. And I looked into it and it's because that person was private. That person has a red button on theirs. Mm -hmm. So if they don't want to be searched, then you won't be able to make that connection to them. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's an exception to it. Yes. Yeah. So let's actually, let's look at the different levels of privacy. Um, that's instructive. Okay. So I just explained open profiles. Um, public is, is um, you know, the main difference is that you need to be in the trusted list to add or change information. Um, and the trusted list is something um, you can add to, well, let's see. I guess I have to be on a profile to show you that. But you would add, um, say I wanted Steve to be on the trusted list of a profile I was managing. I right. would just, um, you would just add, add my email address to it. Exactly. Um, I'd get the invite and then I'd accept the invite. Right. So this is where all of you should probably be private with either a public bio and public family tree or a or private with a public family tree. Um, this otherwise you won't be able to do any of the fun connection stuff. I don't I don't think. Um, I certainly know that when or maybe maybe only you can see it. Right, it would be like private to you, but other people couldn't see the relationships. Right, right. Um, 
I know uh, I run the rock challenge, which is um, where we pick five random wiki treeers and a team goes to work on their branches for a whole month and we see how we can expand their CC7. And every once in a while, we have a, a rocky where they have locked down their family tree. And I have to ask them to open it up. Otherwise, we can't do what we need, we need to do. Um, but if you don't, you know, if you really want to keep things locked down, you can have only a public biography, um, partially. Uh, and then this, hot, this top one is what we call unlisted. And that specifically would be someone who's alive, who's not a member of Wikitree. Like say one of you, you're all Wikitree members, but one of you adds a spouse or a parent or who, you, who, whomever, who's not a Wikitree member. You can do that, but they will show up as unlisted. So they can't be searched. And you know privacy is another really important tenant of Wikitree. So um, this is... Uh, this is uh, you know, an important feature, um, but it's not an option for non-living people or for an active, active member. But there are exceptions to that as well. Notables mm -hmm. who are living, who are not members of Wikitree, may still get articles people can see because they're notables. Mm -hmm. Right, so. Um, well, we're, we're running close to the hour. Um, and as I said, we do we do have to keep it to an hour today. Um, do, do we want to do a lightning round? <laughs> Anybody have? Quick, um, go. Yeah, right. Pressing questions. And again, we will be available outside of this video, yeah. uh, this chat today. If you have anything you want to private message us, certainly right. at any time. Right. There's my um, my profile ID. And um, let me also put in. Um, no number. Okay, this this page that I'm going to put up is sort of our um, our command central for the new member zooms. Linda wants to know if the links will remain after the meeting ends. Are the links no? What I'd suggest, Linda, is that you save the chat um, before before you disconnect. Go to the um, triple buttons at the bottom, and then one of the uh, options will be save chat. Mm -hmm. So, um, right. So on the uh, on the the free space page for new member Q and A via Zoom, um, that's where I keep um, the the schedule and the Zoom links. It is a different Zoom link for every different meeting. Um, so, um, and I do a G2G post, but not everybody catches those. I post on Facebook. Um, and uh, that is where I'm going to put the information for the the uh, Newt, Newt uh, Thon team that I was talking about at the beginning. So, and we got to come, I think we need a better name than the Newt team. So think about that. On Facebook, um, Yes, there is a uh, Wikitree members group on Facebook, Linda. See, maybe see if you can find that. If you're on Facebook at the moment, I, I don't know if I can put a link to that. But if they're on Facebook, it is searchable. Yeah. Wikitree members group. Right, right. Okay. Well, um, I hope that all of you come back again. Um, I love, I love a number of you have been um, repeat uh, attendees and it's, it's really always a delight to see familiar faces and new faces. Um, and thank you to everybody uh, who's watching on YouTube afterwards. And same invitation goes to you if you want to reach out to one of uh, the four of us um, with a question, please do so.